pharmacist, Robin Baum. Robin Baum, please, a little applause for Robin Baum, who I forgot to thank and has been so amazing, wonderful, and made this ride so incredible. Robin, are you listening? Thank you so much. I love you, and I appreciate you. You're the best, and you're beautiful. Okay, we're going to start with 252. No, I'm not done yet. Uh, <laughs> but they have to take you back to your seat. So no, we're going to start with 252, and then we'll go to 153. Does anybody want to try it out for size? Yeah. I would. Here. Thank you. No, you can if anybody wants to fondle. Yeah, here. Jared. Pass it around. But if you have swine flu, please don't touch... I bet this is the first, the first person to ever give their Oscar away for an orgy in the press room. <laughs> My God. Anyway, so. Right, Jared. Sorry. Go. You, you spoke so movingly about your mother during your acceptance speech. Yes. Why did you feel so, it was so important to talk about her? Well, this is the best thing about getting this award is to be able to step on stage and thank people that are important to you, like Robin Baum. Like Robin Baum. Like, you're missing it again. Uh, so, and you know, I thank my mother because she's everything. She has inspired me in ways, uh, you know, that I could talk about for days. So I was really proud to bring my mom tonight, to bring my brother tonight, the two most important people in my life. And uh, really fortunate to be able to thank them in such a unique and grand way. So, thanks. We're going to 153, and then we'll go to 104. This is like bingo. <laughs> 153. Yeah. yeah, Mark Williams from Below the Line. Um, so, Jared, your collaborators in makeup and hairstyling have just won one of those statues. Can you talk about your collaboration with them in this performance? Well, you know, they had a budget of $250. I'm not joking. Uh, that's the truth. And they worked the hardest out of anyone on the entire set. Makeup, hair, they're always the first to set in the morning. I don't know if you guys probably know this. They show up at the crack ass of dawn and they leave at the crack ass of dawn. They're there all the time and they were tireless, tireless workers and essential to the, the, the building of these characters and performances. Thank you. We're going to 104 and then back here to 280. So here, to your left. <laughs> hey, oh. here. Hey now. Yeah, hi. First, congratulations. This is um, BG Norway. If um, you guys want to get a selfie with the, the odd, go for it. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, now's your chance. <laughs> so, my question is There's no cameras allowed in this room. Oh, no fun. <laughs> you guys want to get media, let the media do what they do. <laughs> my God. <laughs> Viva la revolution, baby. And my question to you is, what do you prefer for the most? Standing on a stage as a rock star or yeah. standing here with an Oscar? Or in this case, well, passing it around? The good news <laughs> is I don't have to choose, right? Uh, that's the good news. But the, it's interesting. I said to my brother, this is actually a very small venue for 30 Seconds to Mars. But of course, when you have to stand up there, uh, you know, without your band, and it's obviously not a 30 Seconds to Mars audience, uh, it's, it's a different thing, and it's a quite impressive and exhilarating and, and really fun, you know, to look down and see Leo and Meryl Streep. And I, at one point in my speech, I found myself talking right to De Niro, as if the room wasn't intimidating enough. I was like, bad choice. Let me go back over to my mom. Uh, does anybody else want to take a fondle? Here. We're going to go over here to 280, and then we'll go to... Who's your favorite Oscar winner tonight, huh? <laughs> Come on now. It's heavy, isn't it? We're going to 280, then 299. Uh, Jared, right here. Hey, buddy. Congratulations, Steve Futterman from CBS News. I wanted to ask you, you talked about the dreamers. You took time to talk about dreamers and people who have felt they were subjected to injustices. Yes. Why did you want to take moments to, to express your thoughts to these people on this occasion? Well, a, that's a great question. Number one, because it's important to me. Uh, number two, because I think it's appropriate to the material, to the story, to the film. Uh, and number three, because you have an opportunity when you stand on the stage. You can make it about yourself, or you can hold up a mirror and shine a light 
And that's what I chose to do tonight. I mean, because of 30 Seconds to Mars, because I'm in a band, uh, how many people here are from outside of the, uh, the USA? Quite a few of you. Okay, good. I'm at home then. Um, but I feel at home all over the world. And, you know, for me, these global issues impact us in a really direct way. Let me give you an example. We have a show in the Ukraine in a couple of weeks. We have a show in Thailand in a few weeks. We had a show in Venezuela in the works. So these things, social unrest, uh, you know, uh, social issues like this affect us in a really immediate way. So I felt um, on behalf of the people that I interact with on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook uh, and my own interests as, you know, a global, uh, 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 being a person in a global band, it was important to address those things. Thank you. We're going to 299 and then we'll go to 137. Hi, Jerome. Right here in the back. To yeah. your right. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Great. I remember that we, when we were talking about the Oscar, back in Toronto. So I was wondering, when was the first time that you remember that this could happen? Good question. Can you turn the monitor down a little bit? Um, you know, I never thought that this would happen. I never was on the set. I don't think anyone on the set, I know for a fact, that nobody talked about results. They never talked about awards. They never talked about potential. What we talked about was how do we do the best job that we can to bring this story to life? And that's always where the focus was. I never, ever in a million years dreamed that I would be here right now talking to you. It wasn't even a fantasy of mine because it was so far-fetched. I would never have thought that they would give me any prize. And I never won an award for anything I ever did on screen until Dallas Buyers Club. Oddly, the thing that I've won the most awards for is the thing I've been criticized for the most, and that was, that's music. So there you go. We're going to 137, and then we do have to wrap it up, so 84. Hi, over here. Hi. Hi, um, congratulations. Uh, how are you going to be celebrating tonight? Oh, I'm going to be celebrating to the break of dawn. <laughs> Trust me. Look me in the eyes and see that I will revel tonight <laughs> if they only knew what was going to happen tonight. <laughs> the stories we would have to tell. And we'll end it with 84. Can we get a mic? 84. That's me. I won the lottery. Hey. And I held your Oscar, so it was cool. Uh, congratulations, Jared. Um, are you now able to gauge if this role has changed your professional life and how? Oh, it's safe to say from the moment the film premiered at Toronto Film Festival, my professional life changed. Uh, you know, but I'm still, I, I, I wouldn't say that I've changed. But a lot of things around me have. I've always been an artist interested in creativity and doing something that I was proud of and uh, you know, taking on challenging product, um, projects and uh, pushing myself to the limit. And Dallas Buyers Club was my first film in six years. Uh, did you guys not know that? No, we didn't. Oh, shit. Thanks. She clapped for me. You're so sweet. No, no. Clap away. <laughs> Oh, she's clapping for that. <laughs> Who won? Who won? Who did? The animated short. All right. Thank you. You got excited. It's all right. I know. Huggy bears, whatever. Anyway, um, one more question. One last question. Who's got the best question in the entire room? I'm going to let him pick. The best one. The smartest, most interesting question. What do, you, what do you think? It's up to you. You got it? Don't let me down, brother. I'll straighten your hair if, if you disappoint me. <laughs> well, you tried to talk me out of back surgery once five hours before I had I it. Did. You remember that, you know what? don't you? Did you um, go through with it? I did go through with did it. Did it help? I'm a better man for it, yes. Okay, well, then I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but I do want to ask you, I am not personally critical of your music, and a lot of, uh, you have a lot of fans. Is there a song that you think of in a moment like this? So many of us are inspired by music when we go through something like if we're going to win an award or we're going to have a big moment in our life. So is there a 30-second 30 30, 30 song that you think of? Well, that would fit, what, the occasion of the Oscars? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I think Kings and Queens is probably a great one. 
you know, it's a big, thank you. Thank you very much in the back, yes. At least one person with good taste in music. Um, but I think it's a big soaring anthemic song. Uh, uh, but City of Angels actually even better. You know, I made, a, I made a short film for a song called City of Angels and I interviewed Kanye West and James Franco uh, and uh, a bunch of uh, celebrities and some people that live on Hollywood Boulevard, some people that are homeless. I interviewed Superman and Marilyn Monroe who work on the boulevard and made this documentary inspired by a song called City of Angels. So I think that would be the most appropriate, actually. Um, we shot it right here, right in front uh, uh, of this venue. And I live, you know, just a mile away. If anybody wants to come hang out later, I'll be there. Uh, but it's, it's insane to do this so close to home, and it's really a special treat. Uh, and just to wrap things up, Robin Baum, wherever you are, thank you so much. I forgot you. You look great. Look at her. Look at her. Amazing. One more time for Robin. Thank you very much, and congratulations. And thanks for getting my Oscar dirty with your fingerprints.